I'm getting older. We're all getting older. Day after day, minute after minute, we all inch closer to the great Ducati dealership in the sky. But don't get me wrong, getting older sure beats the alternative. But I can say that as you get older, your priorities start to change. MotoGP? Nah, that's a young man's entertainment. Put on the PGA World Tour, please. I haven't even had a street legal sport bike in my personal stable for years now. Yes, I hate to admit it. Our tastes change as riders as we get older, too. Yeah, I turned my desert sled into a touring bike because I'm a cheapskate, but there are a lot of great, comfortable motorcycles on the market for the big-brained motorcycle riders out there who are looking to see the world in comfort and luxury. So without further ado, let's talk about the most comfortable motorcycles on sale today. Today's video is sponsored by Rockform. Let's get into it. We're going to get the most obvious bike out of the way first. Otherwise, we're going to get a bunch of comments saying, what about the Goldwing? Seriously, Goldwing? Why you know Goldwing, bro? We get this in every list video. Stop commenting about the bikes we missed if you haven't watched the whole video yet, because more often than not, they're likely in there. You just have to, you know, watch the whole thing to find out. Anyways, you want a comfortable bike? Honda Goldwing. It's a couch on wheels. The Goldwing is obviously comfortable in terms of ergonomics, but the rear ends of both rider and passenger being caressed with care and comfort. You can literally slap down a thousand miles on a Goldwing in a day and not even feel it. But it also makes a comfortable amount of power with a big, bad six cylinder engine that has no qualms about moving over a thousand pounds worth of man and machine down the road for miles on end. Seriously, it's like an 1800cc engine, a Boxer 6. It's glorious. You'll also get touring creature comforts, heated grips, cruise control, heated seats, navigation, car play, a sound system, reverse gear, and anything else that has ever been equipped on a motorcycle. It's basically a convertible car on two wheels. If you want a comfortable bike that is literally designed for long distance touring, the Goldwing is there for you. It's the obvious answer, I know, but now that it's out of the way, we can continue because while the Goldwing is super comfortable, it's actually not that comfortable or capable doing other things other than just going straight for thousands of miles at a time. But up next is the German Goldwing, the BMW K1600. The K1600 might not have had as many accolades as the GS adventure bikes, having been ridden around the world by varying adventure riders and movie stars over the years, but the K1600 is the choice for a comfortable touring bike for riders who don't plan on riding in third world countries or on gravel roads or anything else. The K1600 was released in 2011 as a direct competitor to the Honda Goldwing. BMW has had their fair share of experience with sport touring machines, but had never built the comfort colossus that would be the K1600. This bike uses a 1649cc six-cylinder engine straight out of the Goldwing's playbook or maybe out of an M-series car. Well, not exactly that same engine design. The Goldwing is a flat six versus a straight six, but they both have six cylinders is what I'm getting at. But hey, I'm a motorcycle guy. I don't like thinking about six cylinders. Don't fact check me, please. I can't take it anymore. Every time an inflamed boomer fact checks me in the comment section, my self-worth just goes through the floor. And then I go on gaming channels and flame the host every time they mispronounce the name of some fictitious town in Middle Earth. The K1600 is adorned in all the necessary comfort accoutrement, like heated grips, a heated seat, phone charging hole, nice, and even an e-call intelligent emergency calling function which automatically alerts the local authorities every time a poor person looks at your BMW. Of course, the K1600 is available with various packages and trim levels that get you a whole bunch of other stuff like additional luggage options, improved audio systems, shift assist, so on and so forth. When it comes to comfort and luxury, the K1600 really gives the Goldwing a run for its money. Even if you don't have the budget, desire, or garage space for a full-blown touring bike, there are plenty of ways to outfit your existing existing motorcycle for elevated comfort. Figure out some sort of cruise control system, get heated grips, luggage, and of course, get a rock form phone mounting system. Not everyone can afford a massive touring machine with a 10 inch TFT display and built in navigation or car play. Notice it's car play, not bike play guys. But most people should invest in a system that not only protects their phone, but also allows for convenient on-screen navigation. Sure, your dad might be able to look at a map for 30 seconds and have the route memorized from Missoula all the way to Montreal, but for those of us with millennial brain and brain rot, having access to an on-screen navigation is a game changer. My rugged Rockform case offers 360 degrees and is drop tested to military grade standards. Paired with a vibration dampener on the handlebar mount and my phone is protected inside and out. Whether you have an iPhone, an Android, or one of the five people in America with a Google Pixel, Rockform has you covered, so head over to rockform.com and use the code YN25 to get 25% off your order. Again, that is YN25 for 25% off. Rockform is the best in the game, has been, 
will be. Don't forget it. They've been a longtime supporter. Thanks again for Rock Farm for the support. Now let's get back to the show. And since we're in the land of pretzels, beer, electronic music, and big walls, let's take a look at the other side of BMW's comfortable motorcycle. Yeah, yeah, they have adventure touring bikes with lumpy boxer engines that everyone loves, but they also have the S1000XR, which I personally love. And since you're watching Amy Noob and not the completely unequivocal, unbiased internet motorcycle analysis channel, I'm going to talk about the S1000XR. Sue me. Obviously, dad bikes are comfortable, but we gotta talk about rippers that are comfortable too. The S1000XR has an inline four engine rated for 170 ponies. It's nasty. And if that's not enough, you can just get the M1000XR because they're nuts. The S1000XR might have super bike DNA, but it's also a comfortable sport touring machine. It's sold in a touring package that comes with a luggage carrier and heated grips. Or you can be a true Beamer bro and opt for the M package with the M seat, lightweight battery, forged wheels, and most importantly, a striking black fuel filler cap. You know what they say, once your cap is black, you never go back. The S1000XR even comes with a noteworthy toll pass holder as standard so you know this baby is meant to crush miles on Euro toll roads. And since it's not a dad bike, you can even dust up on some 600 squids on the very same toll roads. It may not be every touring rider's first pick, but the S1000XR is a bad girl for the right rider who wants sportiness as well as luxury. When it comes to getting comfortable bikes from Yamaha, you of course have the FJR 1300, a classic, a legend, but let's get real, the FJR is getting a little long in the tooth these days. It's not quite on par with the comfort kings like the Goldwing and the K1600, a bit of a product of a bygone era of big bad four-cylinder sport turn bikes, but from Yamaha, we also have the Tracer 9 GT Plus, which is sort of the new breed of sport touring machine and one that I personally have my eye on. The Tracer 9 GT Plus uses the three cylinder engine we know and love from the Yamaha MT-09, the 890cc triple oozing with torque, but it's also adorned in the latest and greatest touring comforts. This bike has an adjustable ride position with two levels of adjustment in the seat, two levels of adjustment in the handle bar position, and two levels of adjustment in the foot pegs. So if we wanna do the math to figure out the amount of possible unique combinations of comfort, we can use the formula NCR equals N exclamation point divided by, okay, just scratch that. This is way more complicated than I thought it would be. Since when are there exclamation points in math? Some math nerd, let me know in the comments down below how many possible combinations there are with the Tracer 9 GT Plus's adjustable ergonomic system. But anyways, listen, the Tracer 9 also has semi-active KYB suspension and a good amount of industry-leading tech, such as radar-linked unified braking and adaptive cruise control. These innovative technological rider aids, while triggering to some aim to reduce fatigue and improve safety overall during long rides. The adaptive cruise is pretty self-explanatory and relatively commonplace for most vehicles, maintaining speed and adherence to a following distance behind other vehicles, but the radar-linked unified braking system is quite new to motorcycles, providing optimal braking pressure to both front and rear when the brakes are applied, should your vehicle speed be too high for a stopped vehicle or an obstacle ahead of you. This can really be advantageous for long rides where an innocent daydream can turn into a bad nightmare. The Tracer 9 GT is a comfortable bike and it's very competitively priced. I'm seriously considering one of these bikes. Okay, but maybe you're not a dad. Maybe you'll never be a dad because women don't like you. That's okay because Kawasaki makes a bike just for you. The Versus 1000 SE LT Plus. The name itself is as long as the machine is comfortable. Kawasaki even says this bike has comfort at its core. But I think at its core is Cheetos Mountain Dew and Let's Play YouTube videos, but I'm sure there's some comfort in there too. It's pretty funny that Kawasaki makes the ultimate squid missile flex offender sicko mode bikes like the H2 and ZH2 and then makes the lead of the Nerd Comfort Cavalry. The Versus 1000 has a 1,043cc four-cylinder engine that makes 118 horsepower and 75 foot-pounds of torque. Kawasaki also touts its superb fuel efficiency. The Versus 1000 has an adjustable windscreen, electronic suspension, cruise control, and heated grips. The ergos are designed for all-day long-distance comfort. And truthfully, it's a pretty sweet ride. From Suzuki, significantly less dorky, but maybe equally utilitarian is the V-Strom 1050. Built in the sort of adventure rally style, this bike comes in different trim levels, ranging from the regular 1050, which is for on pavement only, to the 1050 DE, which looks like it can go off-road, to the DE Adventure, which can actually go off pavement, but never will. The 1037cc V-Twin engine makes 100 horsepower and 76 foot-pounds of torque. Being a Suzuki, it's not going to be advanced in its tech or the components as some 
other bikes may be, but it's cheap, it's got a comfortable rider triangle, and has a V-twin engine, which is pretty cool. You'll also find an adjustable windscreen, bi-directional quick shifter, and Suzuki's AIDS package with an easy start, low RPM assist, ride modes, and etc. The V-Strom might not be the most highly equipped bike, but it has dual sport derived comfort level, and with a bigger engine and enough equipment to be comfortable for long rides, and it's a Suzuki. You're not going to be exchanging premium features for a low price tag. The regular V-Strom costs just $15,300. Alright folks, we can't talk about comfortable motorcycles without having at least one bloated, overpriced American motorcycle on the list. Actually, no, I can't do it. The last bike on the list is the Ducati Multistrada. The Multistrada sold in V2 and V4 configurations in varying trim levels that you can choose depending on how badly you want the salesperson to think you're a real Ducatista. Regardless of the specific model, the Multistrada is designed for comfortable sport touring. Multistrada means multiple road, or multi-road. Ducati even claims that you can ride on enough roads to ride the circumference of the earth one and a half times before a valve clearance check. Pretty sweet. The Multistrada V4 also features cutting edge tech like radar adaptive cruise control and blind spot monitoring. Granted, it's pretty easy to check a blind spot on a motorcycle requiring just 45 degrees turn of the neck, but the option is there. The comfort is not just limited to the ergonomics package, the Multistrada has a highly refined frame and engine to reduce vibration and ensure rider comfort. The seat height and windscreen are adjustable, so your sweet, sweet nether regions are guaranteed to melt off long before you're fatigued by the wind. A Multistrada V4 will cost upwards of $30,000, but that's okay. You deserve it. Money's not real anyways. Nothing's real. You're dreaming right now. Wake up. Your credit score doesn't matter. Finance the bike. Oh, you're still here. Okay, thanks for making it to the end of the video. How heavily do you weigh the importance of comfort on a motorcycle, ranging from it's pretty important to not at all, I'm younger than 27. Just you wait. Back pain comes for all of us. Thanks to Rockform for the support on today's video. I'll catch you guys later. Fact, a cow-bison hybrid is called a beefalo. Goodbye. Keep watching Yemi Nerd.